Hey everybody, today you are completing a lab on competition. You'll need the following items, uh, both gardens, uh, scissors to cut your piece of yarn, and then a ruler. If you look at the lab, what we're looking at is we're looking at what's more important for plant growth or what's kind of their strategy for competition. So what you're gonna do is for the first part, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna take the overall height of the plant. Now, when you do this, you're just gonna take that soil line and then wherever basically the green ends and then measure that. Everything today is going to be in centimeters. So if you look at this, uh, you can say that it's almost exactly three centimeters. When you get to this one, because of the curve, this is where the string comes in for both the roots and the, uh, the shoot in this case. So what you're gonna do with the string, it's hard to do this uh, on the fly, um, but you're going to kind of match up the curve of the plant with the string. So let's say that I have it here, I follow the curve of it, and then I pinch here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my string, uh, bring it over to my ruler, and then if I have it there, I'm going to stretch out the string and then figure out, okay, that's about 8.8 .8 centimeters, okay? Okay. Now, where the more advanced part is, the other thing that you're going to measure is you're gonna measure the total roots. Now, there's a couple of different routes that you can go about doing this. So you obviously have roots that are not very easy to measure, and so that's why we're using the string. So one of the options is every time to get each of the root increments and then pinch, measure, and then just keep adding them up as you do it. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now that that's kind of the longer way of doing it. The other option that you have is to just kind of figure out the biggest challenge is, okay, which ones have I measured? Which ones haven't I? So what I'm going to do is let's say that I get the curve of this root way to the left. I'm going to pinch there. Then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to get uh, this next part of the root. So I'm going to take what I already have, pinch, and then follow the curve of that. And then I'm going to pinch at that spot. So right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do this part. So there's where I start, I follow the curve here, and then I pinch there. So what I'm gonna end up with, obviously I didn't do them all, but I'm gonna have a total length of my string, and what I'm looking for and what you're recording in the data is what's the total amount of root in each of those plants, okay? That's the technique that I would use, it's just a lot quicker, and it's uh, less back and forth, okay? So again, Use the string for the total amount of roots, and if the plant is kind of bent, you're measuring to what's called the apical Mary stem, so the very, very tip, not to the tallest point. Same thing here to the tip of that green, tip of the green, tip of the green, okay? Garden B is the same thing, but you have two of the same kind of plants, or four of the same kind of plants, I should say. And same thing, if there's a curve of the plant, use the string. If it's fairly straight, use that. And then for the root, I would recommend doing the pinch method of all of it and then coming to your ruler and figuring out. Remember, everything is in centimeters, just is a little bit easier to measure than using the fractions of, uh, of inches. Okay, make sure that you're nice to the sub today, but that is how you complete today's lab.